Hello again, everybody. Harry Boxer, the Technical Trader. It's Tuesday night, the 21st of January. These are the charts of the day. Lots of stocks running, particularly Junior Biotechs. It was a big day. We're going to feature a few of them here. Starting off with one of our um, swing trades. <clears throat> NAC is looking pretty good after breaking out of this trading range. And then retesting it, bounce, bouncing and forming a three-day little flag. Today to pop dollar thirty-eight or seven percent. Fine picked up to the best in about six, seven sessions, maybe even more than that. Let's see. Yeah, I think it was the best in about three weeks, actually. So we'll see if we can get this to continue. But mid channel coming up around 22 and a half. Beyond that, I'm looking at 28 potentially down the road. CYTR still liking this chart a lot. The stock popped and backed off. There's some resistance up there. But in this zone here, we have a nice little wedge forming or coil, I should say. And the volume is low. If we can just pop across today's high above, say 790, and then retest the 842 level, I think we got something going. It could take this to 9.5, 10. Uh, GERN, and lately in forming this falling wedge in, in a 1, 2, 3 wave corrected pullback, you can see that it popped today in particular and ran right up to 538 to close up 87 cents or 19%. Now, if I don't miss my guess, there's a follow-through tomorrow. We can see an explosive move on this one. And that would be a very pleasant surprise considering it was starting to look a little lousy right in here. But it did reverse itself. The volume came in today, 11.5 million, the best volume on an update in quite a while. And right now, the mid-channel target is going to be about 6.5, followed by 8.5. <clears throat> HDY with a big breakout today. This long base pattern, breakaway move with um, the biggest volume in a couple of years, indicates to me a key breakout. I put a swing on it. Would not be shocked to see this get up near the 10, 11 range. That's my target eventually, but short-term target on eight. HIMX, well, uh, some late in the day today, let's show you the one minute chart. You'll see the big reversal on HIMAX, taking it from 13 and a quarter to um, 1430 nearly. And after hours was consoled, actually, Late in the day, it ran up to 13.85. After hours, it got up to 14 and a quarter, and it's consolidating nicely. I suspect this may go higher. And if you take a look at the overall chart pattern, it's still a good one. This little <clears throat> flag here uh, didn't turn out well, but as it look as it were, it looks like it came down to test the trend line. This led our price support, and maybe we got a wedge here, but we need to get a follow through to the upside to get this one moving again. <clears throat> My target is 16 and 19 at Hymax. Uh, QNT with a big comeback today, jumping 242 at 23%, a solid 3.2 million, second biggest volume since last September, and that breaks it out across the declining top line, but not quite through the 1286 level reach on the spike October 31st. Today's high, 1321, uh, did get through that and closed at 1298, so we're right at that point. Follow through could get us to 15, maybe even as high as 16 and a half. IVC and Vicare, one of our swing trades doing well. I wanted to show it to you. Wave one, two, three, four, fifth wave underway. Could take us to at least, I think, the 27 range, 26 and a half. And we'll see if we get a follow through tomorrow. We may get more than that. <clears throat> cool, monster move today. The percent gain leader up 111%, 15 million traded. It was up $1.21 to close at 230 and was trading even higher after hours. A near term target on a momentum thrust, price volume thrust like this. I think the stock has up to three and a quarter, three and a half, maybe three and three quarters. Let's take a look at maybe a 50% move from here. NQ, well, the stock has been acting interesting lately with these wedge and then the longer coil to break out in the flag and then the pop and the three-day little consolidation only to pop again today. Today's um, action of $1.46 or 9% on 7.8 million leads me to believe that they are going to take this and run it, maybe get it up into the 22, 24 zone at some point, short term. PACB, an explosive move as well, uh, going out across resistance here and running for the last couple of days very sharply. Today was up 19.5% on 4,100,000. Top of the channel on PACB, this junior biotech, looks like we may be headed for a quick test of close to nine bucks. PVCT, another junior biotech that's Provectus Pharmaceuticals, broke out here, ran up, pulled back and tested, and surged and formed a Coil that broke out on the big move of a dollar six or thirty six percent today. Volume was a whopping five point four million for that stock. Huge, biggest volume ever. You may see the stock in the uh, five six range. 
RSOL every day up a little tad more. And you can see we only had well, one day in a row down here in about four different occasions, but no downside follow through. Um, the last four set, five days in a row, the stock has been up, but small fractions. And if we can get that above yesterday's high, uh, which is 470, I think the stock runs towards five and three quarters. Solar City backed off and reversed right off support today. And if this is a little consolidation going on, I still think this stock has 90 to 95 written on it at some point down the road. The, the micro with a big pop yesterday and a huge one today jumped to 41% or $1.10. Uh, 800,500 share traded, second biggest volume all year. It probably is overbought short term, but momentum is strong in this one. We could get to five, but be careful with this one. Right? It may get a pullback shortly. And lastly, zone, ZHNE, one of our swing trades, continuing to do well of another 49 cents or 8.4% today. It may be coming out of this uh, wedge type consolidation. If it does, and if today was an indication that's trying to do that, look for a takeout of the 662 area, which could happen tomorrow. And then uh, run up to get up this to get this up to seven and a half short term. That's it on the long side. I'm not talking about shorts just yet. The market's still hanging tough and looking pretty good. HB out.